So, how did your CGI programming go? Hopefully well, and you were able to extend your program and uh, make it do some interesting things for you? Good. I promised you that we would take a look at environment variables, and that's what we're going to do now in this video. We're going to learn how to examine all the environment variables and use a C program to print them out. The environment variables are set up any time a CGI request is made. A set of these environment variables are passed to the CGI process and then onto your program so that you can find out uh, things about the environment that you're running in and you can pick up information from them that comes from the client. Things like uh, form information, uh, where the client is coming from, their IP address, their server name, uh, things like that. There's a lot of other things that can be done with the web as well. Of course, cookies uh, can be handled back and forth. A lot of other information is transferred, but what we're going to concentrate on uh, to the end of this uh, particular series here is uh, just these environment variables, and you already know how to read information from a form and how to process it and give some information back to the client. So let's uh, take a look at some of these environment variables. The one thing to note, or a few things to note, are the variables that start with HTTP are all set by the browser, by the client, and you should be careful with them. I say you should they should be taken with a grain of salt. In other words, don't trust them because the client out there has all the time in the world with their browser or a program that fakes uh, and appears to be a browser and they can be sending in phony information to you. So you can take the information and uh, possibly act on it, but uh, don't take it as the absolute truth uh, because it is controlled by the client and you cannot uh, give up all of input to the client. You have to maintain uh, processing control and you have to maintain control of the data that's coming into your server because otherwise you're just asking for them to try to hack you. The variables that you find starting with remote underscore are set by your server and they describe where the client is from. That's the remote IP address and the remote server name, the remote host. The variables that you're going to see that start with server underscore are also set by your server and are therefore somewhat more trustworthy. You can make some decisions based on them and where your CGI program is located so that you can open files or uh, do things like that. There will be a request method variable and that must be checked to see where the rest of the information will come from. Uh, the request method, if it's a put, then the standard in will uh, have a content length of data on it. Content length will be a new variable that will show up and it will say how long the information is that's coming in. If it's a get, then the query string will have the data. So we've already uh, seen those for get and query string and how, how to use it. So let's go take a look at a program and it's called envvars.c. It has the same structure as our last few uh, Hello World and HW programs, and I pick up the argument count vector and environment pointer, just like we did before. Uh, we set up a text HTML header, our title and start page, and here's our two main working for loops. In this one, we have no initialization of the for loop, and we say as long as there is something under the argument vector pointer, we will print it out and then increment the pointer. Now we are, we know by the standard that this list of pointers uh, will have a final pointer of null. So eventually when we get to the last one this will fail and our for loop will, will drop down to here for this uh, other set of pointers and that's the environment pointer. The environment pointer that works exactly the same way and it will have a null pointer at the end of its list as well and this environment pointer plus plus will increment us through that list just like the argv list does. We'll print out argv colon the value itself and another colon and then a new line and we'll print from the current argv pointer uh, before we increment it. Pretty simple. Then we do an end page to, to close the thing up. 